Hi, I'm Dr. Sharon Shmulevich. I'm a psychiatrist at Mount Sinai Hospital in Toronto. I'm also a mother to two wonderful kids who are six and nine and attend public school. I can vividly remember March 13th when I got notice that schools would be shut down for two weeks following March break. I remember feeling relieved that public health was taking a strong initiative and scared trying to figure out how I was gonna manage having my kids home for three weeks. Six long months later, I'm eager for my children to begin in-class learning again and feel a tremendous sense of empathy, sympathy, and kinship with educators as you return to your jobs on the front lines. I know what it's like to feel scared. Back at the beginning of the pandemic, I didn't know if I was gonna be asked to work in areas of medicine that I hadn't trained in. I didn't know if I would be safe or if I should prepare my family for the possibility I would get sick. I felt a lump in my throat and a heavy heart for weeks as I watched the hospital gear up for the worst case scenario. Were we gonna be prepared? Did people in positions of seniority know what they were doing? Was I and my family gonna be safe? I wanna share with you a few things that I found helpful to get through those dark days and that have helped me manage the uncertainty that abounds even now as I prepare my kids to return to the classroom. First, I focused on my work and where I could be of help. I knew that I was not gonna learn the skills of intensive care or emergency medicine, but I could be a psychiatrist. I knew how to sort through feelings, tolerate uncertainty, and foster relationships. I have found tremendous meaning in supporting those within the hospital who are at the front line, such as the neonatal intensive care or the inpatient social workers. Through it, I found camaraderie, collaboration, a sense of mastery, and a reminder that what I do as a psychiatrist is hard and important. Second, I focused on what I could control and accepted that which I could not control. This meant managing my expectations of others and myself. No one knows how to manage a pandemic, so information is gonna change, people are gonna fumble and do things that aren't always helpful, and sometimes even feel harmful or hurtful. I had to find the balance between knowing how awful COVID can be, but also not being so paralyzed by it that I couldn't work or live. I learned to live with some degree of uncertainty of what the weeks ahead would look like. I taught myself repeatedly how to properly put on and take off a mask. I focused on proper hand washing and have learned to be aware when I wanna to touch my face. It meant asking questions when I didn't know something and tolerating others seeing that I didn't know. Third, I focused on self-care. I had to tolerate being okay that doing my best with patients was not up to my usual standards because I felt too stretched to be at my best. I worked a bit differently for a period of time so that I could take more breaks. It meant giving myself space to be good enough. It meant feeling whatever came up and knowing that I would not feel like that forever, even when I felt overwhelmed or burnt out. It meant being vocal about issues that I saw arise but also accepting that most people were also trying to do their best. Away from work, self-care meant leaning into my supports. It meant tolerating my feelings and other people's big feelings, especially those of my children, when they felt that I wasn't as available as they would have liked, or that they didn't want to do their online learning assignment, or that they were bored. Instead of panicking about the kids' homework, I saw an opportunity that I would never have otherwise have had to watch them grow, negotiate their difficulties with each other, and maybe even learn some life skills. We made a point to get outside every day, even if only a walk around the block. Sometimes this meant exploring parks in our own neighborhood that we hadn't known before, or having regular physically distanced visits with family or friends. For me, self-care has meant trying to embrace my life and my relationships with more intensity and purpose. That's what's worked for me. I hope this might be helpful for you.